Hello, today I'll be listing down the most handy pistols to own based on experience. This doesn't necessarily apply to original, deathmatch, team deathmatch, basic and annihilation but more on zombie scenario, human scenario and zombie modes since they are basically paid to win. There, I just said it. Number 1, the battle clock. So what's so special about this default? Pew pew! It has a full auto mode so you can literally spray it anything from close to medium range and still score hit. This is essentially useful in zombie modes whereby you can stun zombies while running away. Doesn't take long to reload, so think of it as a dirt cheap submachine gun. Number 2, the Maverick M1887. Mind you, this is a shotgun made into a pistol, so it's very handy in most game modes thanks to its spread pattern when fired. It's good to stun zombies, has decent damage and despite its minuscule size, it stores 8 shells. Pair it up with a shotgun and you'll be the Arnold Schwarzenegger with two shotguns. Number 3, the Cyclone. It might be hard to get this but once it's in your hands you'll love this gem. The Cyclone fires an unobstructed laser beam with perfect accuracy making it extremely valuable in whatever mode you're playing in. Despite the cell holding 50 charges, squeezing the trigger for several seconds will drain it quickly. However, it reloads fairly quickly too so get this when it's available. Number 4, the Mini M79. A shortened grenade launcher, it's only good in zombie scenario and maybe zombie shelter. Why? The splash damage excels at clearing zombies grouped together and it takes several seconds to reload. Other than that, don't rely on it for far range battles since it doesn't one hit kill a human and it takes time to travel. The Mini M79 also has a golden variant which holds an additional round and a clone called the Shooting Star. The latter allows the user to bounce grenades around corners. Number 5, the Genus 1. It functions similarly like the Mini M79 but what makes it special? The Genus transformation system allows you to fire a barrage of grenades for 7 seconds. Fire in the hole! Number 6, the Balrog 1. The primary fire isn't anything to shout about but it allows the user to charge up a shot which when fired deals afterburn damage to zombies. With the splash damage and quick reload, it's formidable in both zombie scenario and zombie mode. Number 7, the all-time favourite Duel Infinity. Whether you are riddling holes in both humans and zombies alike, the 40 rounds pistol excels at pretty much anything from stunning to firepower. And it has some badass dual wheel animations when fired in secondary mode. But there's a catch. To use its final form, you must upgrade it past two stages which are Duel Infinity and Duel Infinity Custom. Dante from Devil May Cry, anyone? So that's all for my pistols review videos, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below or simply send me a PM on YouTube. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more updates on CS Online and Nexon Zombies.